Okay, sisters and brothers, today is April 9th, and I, I wanted to bring a word from the Lord that he showed me some things. Um, it's like his encrypted message for us, and I hope you're blessed with this. I'm in Exodus uh, chapter 12, and it's regarding the Passover, and I feel like this is really crucial uh, to get this out because we are nearly there. Uh, actually, it starts tomorrow through the 18th of this month, April, and what you're going to see some things that the Lord is showing me is amazing. Okay, so Nisan is the Jewish uh, month uh, that we are now in, and we are actually at Nisan uh, 12. Uh, today is the 9th of uh, April, so uh, we're moving right along here. So. The Nisan is the first moon, and this is the first um, of their year. When the Lord, when I'm reading things, the Lord uh, has me look at certain words. I believe I told you this in the last few videos, and he has highlighted some things I want you to notice. And I'm going to be reading off my phone, and Lord, help me with this. But anyway, in Exodus uh, 12, verse 1, And the Lord spoke unto Moses, which means rescued, and Aaron in the land of Egypt, which I believe is United States, saying, This is the month that you shall that shall be the beginning of months, and it shall be the first month of the year to you. So we are now at the beginning of their year. Speak unto ye all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take them every man a lamb which I believe represents Jesus on the 10th day. And then we're going to move down. Um, it's just talking about the households and how much they need to uh, prepare uh, for their families. And if they have, you know, a small family, they're supposed to share the lamb. Okay, so we're going to move down um, to verse 15. Uh, your lamb shall be without blemish, just like the bride needs to be without blemish. And he talks about the sheeps and the goat. Take it from uh, the, without blemish, the sheeps or the goats. Um, we're talking right here, the sheeps and the goats, which I think that is uh, anybody is worthy to be taken. And I'm just, I'm not going to read everything. I'm going to read what the Lord is showing me so you don't get confused. You can read this later by yourself if you want. And you shall keep it until the 14th day of the same month. Okay. Um, and they shall take of the blood, which I believe is the wine that we're supposed to uh, take for communion. And they shall eat the flesh, which is the bread that we take uh, as, as Jesus' flesh. And in that night, we're talking um, the 14th day. So in that night, you're supposed to take the communion. And uh, the unleavened bread represents, there's no uh, bitterness, it's it's a sweetness, you know, it's without leaven. The leaven is represented as, as uh, the ungodly. So, then we're going to go down here. And, and it says, let nothing of it remain until the morning. And if you look at this, let, it, um, let nothing remain until look what I see here where was it uh, give me one second okay before that day okay so before morning he's telling us to have this um, taken and um, okay remain means to remain or to be left I believe this is for the left behind those that are left behind in the morning it's, uh, I don't believe he means morning, but after that, after we leave, um, that which remains until morning shall be burned with fire. I believe that is God uh, renewing his people and burning the wicked. I hope you can read this. I'm kind of moving around. I'm trying to film this and read it at the same time. But uh, with your, this is, this is our armor in Ephesians 6, uh, 10 through 18. So it's talking about with your loins girded and your shoes on your feet. You know, we have to have our our uh, belts of truth on. The belt helps hold up your garments 
um, just like when they w wore their long, uh, I don't want to call them robes, but their long garments that they used to wear, if they were running, they couldn't trip over them because if they tripped, you know, they, uh, they'd be caught. So they girded them with belts to hold up so they can keep going so they don't stumble and fall. This is us. You know, we don't stumble and fall because we have our belt on. And then you have your shoes, uh, your feet shod in peace. So it says, uh, with your loins girded and your shoes on your feet. In other words, be ready. Get, get yourselves uh, ready for all this. Your staff in your hand represents the sword, the sword of, of the word of God uh, that speaks the truth to um, keep you from, you know, uh, to strike down the enemy. And uh, you should eat, but in haste, okay? And in haste, um, hold on one second. See the word for haste? Hasty flight, okay? So in haste or in flight, it is the Lord's Passover. And I'm going to explain more why I believe that we're going home really, really soon. Then we're going to jump down to verse 14 after he tells us to be ready. You know, have your armor on, be without spot and wrinkle, take your communion. Be, in other words, uh, have Jesus in you. Take the communion, you know, be in his blood covering and take his communion. And after he tells us, you know, that we're ready to go. And this day shall be unto you a memorial that you shall keep it a feast to the Lord. Throughout your generations, you shall keep the feast by ordinance forever. And this ordinance was kept specifically for us to know the day, the time, you know, that uh, I should say, excuse me, not the day and the time, but the, the season. We are in this season right now. The Lord uh, made this as a commandment to the Isra to Israel to keep this so that we will know the time because he knew you know, we don't follow these laws. This is not something that we as Americans or anybody outside of it knows their laws. So God was hiding this for us to know the time. Okay, so now we're in Matthew chapter 27. And this is uh, Jesus' uh, time of death. And um, give me one more. Okay, so in Matthew chapter 24, I'm, I, I had to go back to 24. And Matthew chapter 24 says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good men of the house had known what to watch, the thief would, what time the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house be broken up. And Matthew 24, 44, Therefore be ye also ready, just like he said in, in uh, Exodus, be ready. For in such an hour you think not that the Son of Man cometh. So I believe, you know, sisters and brothers, we're being told here by Jesus himself. And verse 45, who then is faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. In other words, he's telling us when to have the meat. Okay, so now we're in Matthew chapter 26, um, verse 23. Okay, and it says, And he answered and said, He that dips his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. So I believe, you know, now is our betrayal where we have people in our government who are making a lot of people believe that things are going to be just fine. I believe that this is a deception of God's people. Um, not, not us who are awake, but a lot of them who are not awake are being deceived right now. And in verse 24, woe unto that man by whom the son of man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had never been born. So we know that we have the Antichrist um, rising up. I'm sure you all have heard the videos on it. So we know that he's here. He is betraying God's people. <clears throat> and um, we're going to see some things happening really soon, sisters and brothers.
my personal thought on this is um, we will not be here only because it, even though he says that um, um, in the Bible it says there shall be a falling away and then uh, the revealing of the man of perdition which is the Antichrist but sisters and brothers we're awake we we if we are correct in believing this is Obama which I think we are but you know we don't know for sure but I would say we're we're right there of knowing who he is and um, if we're awake and we know this are we really going to be here for the unveiling just a question so now we're in Matthew um, chapter 26 and this is the Lord's Supper so we know that he's betrayed and then the Lord's Supper takes place and um, it's it's regarding the breaking of the bread um, oh boy hold on and it says and they were eating and Jesus took the bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and we see here that the disciples are the learners the pupils that's that's for us you know we're learning we're we're trying to understand this so he's breaking it and we are his disciples okay so we know he broke the bread he drank the cup and this is all the same thing I was reading in in Exodus 12 you know trying to show you and that I believe this is what it's referring to everything that happened to Jesus I believe is a complete reflection of what's going to happen to us and he says that he will not drink this um, fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom that's coming sisters and brothers that is coming okay sisters and brothers I'm gonna cut this video off I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, do the next part because it's getting kind of long but I'm gonna show you how everything that Jesus went through it's gonna show us uh, how close we are and what's going on God bless you all and there'll be a part two thank you